For years, the sport of hamburger racing has remained an elusive field for documentarians. Historically, the Hamburger Racing League, or HRL, has been reluctant to allow media coverage due to numerous health complications, injuries, doping scandals, and fatalities involving both competitors and spectators. In 2015, our camera crew was finally able to earn the trust of the heads of the league and was granted permission to follow one league member as he prepared for the Grand Hamburger Tournament. I'm Pumper Nickel Slub Rumskin, and you're watching 60 Minutes. Are we rolling? Well, yes. Oh, um, farts. Um, hi, I'm, I'm Ronathan Silbernathy, but all my friends call me Hamburger Racer. Hamburger Racer? Yeah. Hamburger Racer. Hell yeah. Oh, that old hamburger racer thing. Yeah, all of his friends call him that, but, you know, I get to call him my little Ronison. That's probably because, you know, I am his mother at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, where were we? Uh, we were talking about how Ronathan first got into the HRL. The HRL? The Hamburger Racing League. It all started when the superstar, Herbie McManimus, came through our town two years ago. This is Herbie. My inspiration. He didn't go to college. He lives in a basement. But he's the fastest hamburger eater of all time. Sometimes... I can line it up just right. Pretend I'm Herbie. Herbie was the biggest star of the league at the time. He was the best. Totally unbeatable. I saw him at the LMD. The LMD? Yeah. LMD. Local McDonald's. It was just so incredible. And in that moment, I knew I was going to be just like him. This is my kitchen. This is where I do most of my training. I have a strict routine that I follow every day. First, I like to sit and visualize. Warm, tempo, cool, 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 warm, tempo. Cool, warm, tempo, cool, warm, tempo, cool, warm, tempo, cool, warm. I'll sit here sometimes for hours just staring at a burger and picturing myself eating it as fast as I can. Then I'll do some stretches and warm ups on the porch. You know what they say. You gotta have a healthy body if you wanna eat a lottie. <laughs> then, when I'm physically and mentally prepared, it's time for my, my BOTD, my burger of the day, and, and, and sometimes I like to try something kind of exotic, you know? But today, we've got a competition official standard hamburger. That's right. And shout out to the Kingsley Shire Road McDonald's for all their support. And, uh, can I just kind of go for it? After my time with Ronathan, I traveled to HRL headquarters, where I spoke to the heads of the league, Amy O. Williamsgate Beechcroft and Bill Strumpiston. Well, we've been watching Ronathan Silvernati for quite some time now. He's a very talented kid and definitely one of the best contestants we have this season. Yes, I agree with you. Uh, he has been evolving so much from the past championships. And i got to tell you, Ronnie's a dangerous kid. you got to watch out for that guy. The same thing happened with Herbie back in the days. Uh, and look at where he is now. I used to race with the guy before I got into the corporate side of, of the business. And let me tell you, even then, he was one of the best. So do you think Ronathan Silvernathy has what it takes to beat Herbie McManimus this year? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, I think McManimus still has a lot of game, and he should watch out for that guy, because he's still dangerous. 
People think I've been off my game, and that's bullshit. In fact, I'm the best there ever was and ever will be. I've been going slow on purpose, waiting, and watching my enemies, making sure they don't catch up to me faster than I'm <laughs> moving. <laughs> moving fast myself. <laughs> there is no chance, based upon my record, that Jonathan can beat me. So have you been following Ronathan Silvanetti's progress this season? Pumps, the only person's progress in who I watch is my own. Jonathan might be a nice kid, I don't know, but there's no way come game day I'm not going to kick his ass. Sure. Look, Pumps, does my girlfriend have to be in the shot for every single part of this documentary? I swear to God, Herbison McManus, I told you I didn't want to be here in the first place. No, you begged me don't to be even, here every I single time. God, how many every single time, I wouldn't, you wouldn't leave me alone, and now I'm at the fucking and documentary for the hamburgers, I and you're here, you think I want to hear the cello. Oh my God, that, I don't know you really think they're here why, for you? Of course they're here for me, this is the hamburger documentary. They don't want to see you, they don't want to see your cello in the shot. excuse me. You think I care about that? I eat hamburgers every day, this is my life. You're stopping on my dream right Right now, all I need to do is talk to Pumps. You propose. You wouldn't you know propose. a hamburger if it looked you in the eye. I'm out of here. I'm going this way. After weeks of pool matches and eliminations, Ronathan and Herbie emerged as the two finalists. It's David versus Goliath. Tasty Burger versus McDonald's. A small fish versus a, a great white shark. It was time for Ronathan Silbernathy, the new kid from Virginia, to prove his mettle against Herbie McManamus, the greatest hamburger racer the league has ever seen. Hello and welcome to the final HRL showdown of 2015. The Hamburger Racing League is proudly sponsored by Bob's Burgers and in tonight's special occasion we have Bob himself to deliver the game burgers. How you doing Bob? Uh, good to be here Bob. Racers, are you ready? Three. Two, one, burger! Right from the start of the battle, it was evident that McManamus's years of experience gave him a massive advantage over Ronathan Silvernathy. Any reports of Herbie being off form were immediately thrown to the wind as he dominated the battle from start to finish. like the day would end an inevitable heartbreak for young Ronathan Silvernathy. Until... Wait! Herbie, there's something in your beard! That's a piece of burger! An incomplete finish! Uh, uh, Mrs. Williamsgate Beechcroft, Mr. Stumperson, I suggest we reference Rule 197. What the fuck is that? That's an incomplete finish! Rule 197, Clause 3, Part C, states that in the case of an incomplete finish where a portion of the burger remains on the racer's face, the racer may still win the match, but only if it's able to ingest within 10 seconds without the use of hands. 10, ah. 9, ah. 8, ah. 7, ah. 6, ah. 5, ah. 4, ah. 3, ah. 2, one, and the ten seconds are up. Wait, does that mean I win? The unthinkable had happened that day. The great Herbie McManamus loses to HRL rookie Ronathan Silvernathy on a technicality. Unthinkable. But sometimes, lurking behind, or peeping out from between the unthinkable, is beauty. Kind of like we see here, as one truly talented young athlete's hamburger dream comes true. 
I'm Pumpernickel Slabrumskin for 60 Minutes.